Good morning, honey. <laughs> it is 6.30 in the morning. Um, that's the time G usually wakes up. And I pop up with him. And I usually bring him downstairs straight away because Aaliyah and um, my husband are still asleep. So I don't want to wake him up because he is really loud. Like he likes to be very loud. <laughs> so I bring him downstairs, usually to the kids' room straight away. Um, put some ABCs on or something and put out some toys for him. <sighs> Before you have breakfast. It's raining today. Usually we'll go out here. I'll show you guys. It was literally like heavy rain like two seconds ago. You can see from the floor. But usually in the mornings we'll go for a walk out here. And I'll bring one of his little um, toy boxes out here and he can play. It's really good that it's been raining though. Australia needs um, the rain. So we're really happy and grateful. But it just means... No swimming in the pool and no playing outside. Oh, yay. Yay. Look, someone's going for a little canoe down there. Why? You over it? You want to go inside now? No. Yeah? No. You want to come inside? Yeah. Yeah. I like to start my day off on a positive note. So for the next 15 minutes, I will listen to a book on an app called Blinkist. Um, this app is honestly a life hack. I can't believe I only just found out about it. I wish I knew about this app a long, long time ago. It pretty much summarizes a whole book and takes all the key points and puts it into 15 minutes. So if you're a busy person or you just don't have the patience, um, it is perfect, especially I know like Ali is going to get up. I'm going to have to put breakfast out soon. Um, my day is going to begin. So I only probably have about 15 minutes to do this. So it's perfect for me. And you can also pop in your headphones and listen to it hands free, which is really good. So this is what the app looks like. Um, I'll go to explore and then it's got all the categories here. Every morning, or usually most mornings, I'll listen to motivational and inspiration ones. I just find it a really nice way to start my day, and I love all the ones I've listened to so far. So I just finished one called Be Fearless, Five Principles for a Life of Breakthroughs and Purpose, which I really, really enjoyed. This morning, I'm not sure which one. Let me have a look. They have so many hmm minimalism live a meaningful life that sounds interesting so i'm gonna do that i do have a really good deal for you guys so the first 100 people to click the link in the description below will get a free trial to read and listen to as many books as you want to see if you like this app if it's something that works for you and if you do like it then you can get 25% off a year's membership which is really good and I'm sure you guys will love this app as much as me. So I'm putting out breakfast for the kids. I'll usually do um, like a wheat big cereal um, or like Aaliyah loves cheese toasties but I know at the moment she's going through like a fruit phase so I'm gonna just put out some fruit and yogurt for her I think because it's been really like sticky um, hot because of all the rain that's why she's like loving a lot of fruit and a lot of water what are you gonna do you need to take this out of your mouth to have that you know but yeah, my kids love fruit, don't they? Fruit babies. So I will put out Aaliyah's too because she's not far from waking up. And I will probably clean up the kitchen quickly before she's up. So like unpack the dishwasher and tidy all that and just make sure my kitchen's nice and clean. Um, I put a diffuser on. Every single morning, I'm using, what am I using at the moment? Lemon and yin yang. So that's like really refreshing. I love diffusers in the morning and I love candles at night. This one's caramel crunch, salted caramel. 
um, glass house, which smells so good. Every time someone comes to my house at night, they're like, are you baking cookies or brownies? Right? Right? Mm. Mm. How good are these bibs? Just catch everything in there. Yum. He's waiting for his sister to come down the stairs. Slowly. Good morning, Princess Snow. Good morning. Go slowly, honey. <laughs> he loves. I will start my day off with water and lemon. I love water and lemon. I'll have my vitamins, then I'll have my coffee. Um, and I made some bottles for G for the day for his nap times. But I'm trying to get him off the bottle um, and not having as much milk because he really loves it and finds it like a comforter, nearly like a dummy. Like he will just like play with the bottle. So I'm trying to cut that down. If you guys have any advice on that any mums or dads okay so in the past hour g went down for a nap i got dressed quickly miss alia snow got dressed too mommy i want my money she wants to put some of her money in her bag it's her new thing she goes up to the counter and she purchases things on her own which is so cool you're so smart my little honey buddy mommy, it's my mommy. yeah i just want to show you guys what i do Every morning also, I've got a baby bag in the car and I pretty much refill the baby bag. So this is my handbag of the day, the one I'm wearing. But aside from that, I've got a baby bag in the car. So this is like mum life talk right here. Okay, so I just got my baby bag out of the car. This one I leave in there every day. I've got other ones upstairs in my wardrobe, but this is the one that I kind of like restock, so I'll just check. So there's nappies, wipes, bibs, a couple of these um, like baby food things. I usually um, only pack fruit. I don't really buy these with the meats. So I just find it, um, I don't know, I don't find it fresh seeing that they sit in this and they can sit in it for so long. So just I buy just the fruit ones, just for emergency. Um, sunscreen, hairbrush, Panadol, Chewing gum, lip gloss, um, baby teething gel, um, some snacks for the kids. So that's like a little cookie. I'm going to grab a couple more snacks, seeing that it's low. I would have used it last time. What else do I need to put in here? I think that's about it. Oh, and I've got both the kids' water bottles there. So I'm going to grab some more snacks and put that in there. There's also like the nappy bags on the sides. I think that's all I really need. When you have a younger baby, it's a lot um, more um, stuff in there. There's like tons and tons more of stuff that you need, but I, because he's getting older and Ali is older, there's not as much stuff that I need. And the wipers on the bus go. Keep singing, Baba. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you a story earlier, yeah? yeah? Okay, when you... You weren't even born yet. Baba and Mummy, we went to... Where did we go? Went somewhere in Europe, I think. Anyhow, and we were... We were swimming. And everybody was swimming earlier, yeah? And Yeah, we were swimming in the beach. And then all of a sudden, it started raining. And everybody ran away. Ran out of the water to go to the shelter. That's what I didn't understand. I was like, me and mummy stayed in the beach and we said, why is everyone running away? We're swimming, we're wet anyway. Why is everyone running away from the water? Was this funny? Yeah, it was funny. Dad, have you said hello? Oh, hello. Um, Gramps popped in the house. Yeah, that's my grandpa. That's her grandpa. Um, he popped in the house. And that's her grandpa. And so we were gonna go to the markets just around the corner from my house because they've got lots of really nice fruit and veggies and stuff on us. I'm um, on a Sunday, so we're gonna pop in there 
and grab some um, to bring home. And they've got like some kids things to do too, like um, pony ride and like little um, animal, animal farm and stuff. But it is literally pouring down, like pouring down. Which is really good because we do need this in Australia. So, oh, yeah. not complaining, we need this. Um, but oh, yeah. we're What's just the going to. For? What's the rain for? The for the bushfires. That's, That's right. right, sweetie. And who's it going to save? Thank you. You're smart. You're yeah, clever, all aren't these, you? All you're these super clever. Mums came up there, the yes, you're super clever. Yes, you're super clever. And I'll bring it. And all the animals and the koalas. And I'll bring it to the Oh, to the I'm wildlife sanctuary because we went and visited the animal the, hospital. the animal hospital um, here. Good girl, honey. So change of plans. We're just market. going to pop in the shops here instead of the markets and probably get some food and cook up a lunch at home. Which we that's what we usually do on the weekends. We have like um, a family lunch. Well, look at all that rain that just went on the door. When he opened, for the rain. When he opened the door. Wow. Everyone in this country I right now where it's raining are dancing in puddles. Yes, Dad. Yeah? That's yep. what they do in the outback. When it, when it rains, they dance in puddles. I think I'm going to yep. write a song called Dancing in Puddles. No, they yeah. don't dance. Yeah, for ice. Yeah, they do because they celebrate on there because... No, they don't. They just jump in muddy puddles. No, they jump in the muddy puddles. Puddles. Okay. <laughs> Why don't you go out and dance in the rain then, well, Grandpa? I would, I would if I had my boots on and my cowboy hat. And Aaliyah. And Absolutely. what about you, G? And why are you yeah. this boy, Papa? <laughs> <laughs> go dance in the rain. I double dare you, Dad. I double dare you to get out and, and just I dance. Double dare you oh, to I would. I would. I'd do my bit for all the farmers. Go dance the Go, to Grandpa. Aaliyah, so, say. Go Grandpa! Go Grandpa! Go Grandpa! Go Grandpa! Hello, Leah! Okay, this one's all done. I swear markets have the most random things ever. Maybe can find a good bargain in this store. Five dollars. Let's have a look. Ooh, could make it work. Could make it work. <laughs> I feel like this is all real vintage stuff. Like we should have a look through all of it. that for her. Whoa. Um, thank you. Welcome to Guys, we're in a we're in an antique store. How scary is this doll? We just said it literally reminds us of Annabelle. Or like this one. Oh my gosh, even one of her eyes are like half closed. If you touch it, do you reckon like you're gonna curse? Yeah, I'm definitely not yes. even touching. <laughs> and these ones, oh my gosh, they're everywhere. So we just got home, got him in his board shorts, and I got in some shorts too. What's wrong, honey? That is like the fakest cry I've literally ever seen. Okay, it's, I've had enough of it. Yeah, I've had enough. Yeah, I've had enough. Yeah, I've had enough. Okay, I've had enough. Okay, I've had enough. Oh, practicing your jumps? Yeah, I put that back. Yeah, I put that back. Are you ready to go swimming, sweetie? Okay, let's head out. <laughs> oh my gosh, he wants me. <laughs> Honey. Aliyah, bring him to me. Bring him to me. He's gonna have the best sleep after this. 
He doesn't really like being in this little floaty thing, but I love it because then I can go for a swim. But I'm holding your brother that he's being a crybaby. Let's go with him. Jump with him. Yeah, just jump with him. I can't, honey bunny. That's <laughs> Good girl. Mommy, please. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. 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 But when your brother comes out, then you can have no floaties. I know. So Leah knows how to swim with her floaties now. Are you going to jump to me or no? Are you going to jump to me? Come. Leah, should we say bye to everyone in the vlog now? We say bye because we're going to finish this vlog and we can film another one next time. Bye. Say bye to everyone. Bye everyone. Say thank you for watching. Thank you. And make sure you subscribe. Yeah, make sure you subscribe. <laughs>